I'm delighted to be talking to you today about Rembrandt's Flora, a painting from the mid-1650s. This is Rembrandt's imagining of the Roman goddess of spring. Even though he's responding here to Roman mythology and also to 16th century Venetian painting by artists like Titian, Rembrandt has really put his own personal stamp on his vision of this goddess. He's not depicting her as a marble statue. He's really showing her as a flesh and blood woman, almost a contemporary Dutch woman of the 17th century. Very typical for Rembrandt's work at this time is the tactile, almost sculptural way that he builds up layers of paint. If you look in particular at this wonderful linen shift or blouse that Flora wears, you get the sense that Rembrandt has built it up through different layers of paint. There's almost an invitation to the viewer to reach out and touch this canvas. Rembrandt is really engaging multiple senses here. He's not just asking us to look at this painting, but also to imagine what it would be like to touch these different surfaces, what the flowers might smell like, what the fruit might taste like. There is a real sensory engagement here that is very typical for Rembrandt's work. Another masterpiece of 17th century Dutch painting that we have here at the Met is Johannes Vermeer's Allegory of the Catholic Faith. This is one of five paintings by Vermeer in the Met's collection, and it's a surprising Vermeer. It doesn't depict the usual scene of quiet domestic life that we might expect from this artist. Instead, we have this large-scale Baroque allegory in which this young woman dressed in blue and white actually embodies or represents the Catholic Church as an allegory. And Vermeer has populated this interior with all sorts of symbolic objects. So for example, she has her foot atop a globe, symbolizing her global dominion. There's also the cornerstone of the church in the foreground, crushing the serpent of evil. We see the apple that led to the fall of man when it was bitten into by Adam and Eve. We also have this glass sphere hanging from the ceiling, a symbol of the celestial realm contrasted with the globe under the church's foot. Vermeer himself was a convert to Catholicism, and we think that this is a personal testimony to his faith, something he may have painted for a Jesuit group in the city of Delft, um, but he may also have painted it for himself.